Welcome to Shark River Machine. My name is Steve and in this video I'm going to be making a T-nut for the quick change tool post that I just got for the new Atlas lathe. So let's get started. I have to make a T-nut for the tool post and this is the piece of material that came with the tool post and I only need a one inch wide T-nut so I wasn't going to waste all that material. I've got a piece of A2 tool steel there that I'm going to make it out of and it's one inch so I don't have to cut down the width. So in the words of Harold Waters all projects start at the bandsaw. Here's the piece of stock for the T-nut. It's one inch wide, two inches long. Now the top needs to be, it's nominally it's five-eighths. I'll make it six hundred and ten thousandths. And so I'm starting out at one inch. So I've got three hundred and ninety thousandths divided by two to come off of each side to make the T-nut. So three ninety divided by two should be a hundred and ninety five thousandths. I'm going to set up my height gauge for 195 thousandths. Seventy-five, one eighty, eighty-five, ninety. Should be a hundred and ninety-five thousandths set on my. That's 610. So now I'm going to go back over to the milling machine 
and cut it. Oops, before I do that, I want to mark my depth. Okay, the nominal thickness of the bottom of the T nut is 5 sixteenths, which would be 312 5. I'm going to make it 310 thousandths. I'll give myself a little bit of clearance. My material is a half inch, so I got 0 0.500 minus 310. Oops, 190. There's my 190 again. That was 195. So now I'm going to mark or uh, set my height gauge at 190 thousandths and make a score mark on it. Okay, that should be at 190. Oops, that would be from the top. Let's not do it wrong. I'm going down 190. Now let's measure what's left. And I've got 310. So now I've got my marks set. I'm going to put it in the milling machine and make some cuts. Okay, that's where I want to be. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is mark a 
show you what I'm doing. What I'm going to do now is mark my Z axis so that I get the exact same depth on the other side. So I'm going to finish that up and I'll bring you back. Here goes the final cut. Okay, it's the same. So I'm going to take it out and go see if it fits, deburr it, and see if it fits. I warned you, the lathe is sitting on the floor in the shop. So I'm going to do the best I can to get a shot of this. There is the T-nut. Slides in there just perfect. So now all I've got left to do is drill a hole and tap it in the center. And we'll be ready to go. And you can see the difference between the piece of material that they supplied for the T-nut and what I ended up using. Needless to say, that would have taken a lot of cutting. So that's the same thickness. And so all that's left to do is drill a hole and tap it. It'll be ready to mount on the lathe. I'll mark the uh, T nut to drill the hole. It's two inches long. I want to go halfway, so I've set the uh, height gauge at one inch. That's one inch. And now it's one inch wide, so I'll reset it at a half inch. Okay, it's ready to center punch. Okay, that was the uh, I used a prick punch on it, now I'll use the center punch. Let's take it over and drill a hole. I'm going to use the wiggler to locate the position of the hole. after I pick up the key off the floor. Okay, let's try this again. That looks better. It's not sitting very square in the chuck.
There it is. Okay, I'm going to spot drill it. Use a quarter inch drill to drill the pilot hole. thread on this is actually 14 millimeter. It's 14 millimeter by 150 and the closest drill that I've got, and it's within a few thousandths, the closest drill that I have is a half inch. So that's what I'm going to use. Now I have a problem. I finally found a tap that I don't have. This is a 14 millimeter by 1.5. I've got a 14 by 125, but I don't have a 14 by 1.5. So I'm going to have to pick up a tap over the weekend and tap it out. Well, that's as far as I can go with this project. I've got to pick up a tap and I'll finish tapping it. You don't need to see that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.